Hey YouTube, this is Photaku Lounge back with an unboxing video. In fact, my first one ever. What is in the box is supposed to be a stack shot three times from Cognosys, which will help with extreme macro work that I do. And I will show you the camera that I will eventually attach to it. I'm waiting on a single piece, but why don't we first get the tools of the trades and make some work? It doesn't appear that I'm going to need the artist's X-Acto knife or even the scissors, apart from opening the box. And I think I will get in the frame as well to show you off just how things come out of the packages. Now here we go. Let's start with the 3X controller. And we'll go on to the stack shot itself. I don't really think that I'm going to need to unbox or remove this cable here. And here's the power supply for the probably the charger. There's supposed to be a charger in here. This must be the charger. I was wrong about the scissors. Here we are. I was also wrong, it appears, about the exacto knife. This is the battery. I ended up purchasing the battery because I don't always have the camera near enough to an outlet to allow me to reach reach the project that I'm, I'm working on. This should be the 2.5 cable. <laughs> I'm not very good at opening boxes. That should sync to the Fujifilm GFX, which it is. And this little case, I suppose, is to put some of these cables here. Owner's manual, good thing I have that Apple SuperDrive, because uh, bloody iMac, or any Mac computer now, does not come with a CD-ROM drive. Uh, I'm going to clear this off and show you the camera to which this will attach. The camera, of course, being the GFX. 50S from Fujifilm, which I have attached to a Cambo, uh, what do you call it, Actus Mini. Previously, as you know, I used the Lienhoff M679CS, which um, expanded to around 35 centimeters or so, which was long enough to get up to around 2x magnification on certain sensors. But since I sold that, ended up moving to the Fujifilm um, and because the Cambo is not quite as accurate in focusing as the Lienhof and because when I'm doing extreme macro stuff there's a vibration and everything even uh, the camera stand and of course my fingers are not accurate enough to focus down to the one tenth of a millimeter every single time I have opted for an automated system now, the, I've also opted for, um, it hasn't come yet, but a replacement plate <coughs> for the stack shot, where this will become an Arca Swiss uh, receptacle, which will then attach right to the cambo. Because the cambo here is, an, is a long Arca Swiss plate, or uh, quick release, or whatever you call it. Currently, in order to attach it, I will need to use the thumb screw which I believe is, where is it, right here. And this would go into the bottom of the Arca, or sorry, the bottom of the Cambo. And the problem is, the Cambo rail has only one port here on the front, which means the whole thing wobbles a bit. So 
once I get the Orca uh, clamp to replace this, then I can um, find the, the best weighted center and then clamp it to there. But <laughs> essentially, <laughs> it'll be something like that. Let's move the camera up, sorry. And that there is the Fujifilm GFX <laughs> precariously balanced on top of the StackShot 3X. You can tell that the Cambo X is a little bit longer um, and at full stretch you can imagine even on a really sturdy um, tripod or camera stand that whilst you're focusing it there's going to be some wobble and there is. Um, because of that the 3X is probably, I hope, going to save me a lot of work and a lot of frustration. Uh, and a lot of reshoots, which currently have been a problem at extreme macro distances. I will show some videos as soon as I can of various 120 milliliter len milli millimeter sorry lenses. Currently, I have the Schneider Apo Digitar 120 macro in uh, M39 barrel attached to sorry not M39. It's a, it's an enlargement, I think in a shutter one or shutter zero barrel. Um, which I have attached via M39 to an M39 adapter that goes to Mami SX45. Later on I will show a Mami SX45 120mm macro lens versus this Schneider at Extreme Macro, of course sliding on the um, StackShot 3X. And then I will show my best hand focusing technique versus the 3X automated macro from Cognosys. And just hope to show you how much more stable and repeatable results are from an actual automated system. The following is the output from a 100 image stack measured from the bottom edge of the micro SD card to the upper corners of the underlying carbon fiber plank. After importing, I discovered that only 80 images were necessary, but I find it safest to take a few extra images at either extreme. In order to take this image, I had to angle the stack shot the Cambo Actus Mini, the Schneider lens, and the GFX camera at around 60 degrees in relation to the subject. That meant that the stack shot was ratcheting almost 3 kilograms of metal at the very near the extremes of the Schneider's close focus ability. That lens shot the entire stack wide open at f5.6. No sharpening was applied to the image during import and Lightroom sharpening was disabled prior to sending the images to Helicon, focus and not later applied. This lens is bloody amazing.